here. If you guys watched um, Parks and Rec, you know him as the grumpy office supervisor. <laughs> uh so he just spoke out recently uh we had the i think it was the sag awards um and let's find his right here so he thanked hbo for quote having the guts to participate in the storytelling tradition that is truly independent um let's go ahead and run down here stories that when homophobic hate comes my way and says why did you have to make it a gay story we say because you ask questions like that it's not a gay story it's a love story you asshole uh offerman said uh during his acceptance speech as the audience cheered and applauded he added that he hopes to see more of that representation uh before thanking the showrunners his family and hilariously my bride, my puzzle coach, <laughs> and legal property, Megan uh, Mullally. I don't know, man. We might look back on this fucking uh, acceptance speech and <laughs> not look at it fondly when he's talking about pe- legal property people. <laughs> uh, yeah, Offerman, one episode arc. Okay, just kind of talks about what happened there, which, by the way, um, he played a character named Bill who was from the game. You meet up with him in the game, and he ends up like giving you a car so you can. Uh, get to like Pittsburgh or whatever, and they, this kind of, this happens in the series Last of Us that was on HBO. Um, and in the uh, TV show, they decided to adapt it a bit, and the, the characters actually don't even meet Bill. You see, well, so the main character meets Bill, but for the car when he gets there to get the car, Bill's already gone and dead. So in the game, that's different to start out. That's one way that they they adapted it. Um, and then on top of that, you see this kind of like in between love story with Bill that he has with a man um, that he ends up like, you know, ends up like he's a captive, I guess. Like accident, he falls into one of Bill's traps that he has for zombies, and he ends up, you know, just being cool with them, and they immediately suck each other's dicks. Um, that's literally what happened. Like first day, they're like he. Bill takes a shower and the guy's like, yeah, or the other guy might take it. I think the other guy takes a shower. And Bill's like, let me get some of those balls love, on my face. Man. Like, he cleaned them off. I want him to smack me. There's well, he didn't clean them off. He didn't clean them off, but then he did clean them off. Oh, if you feel what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, people dying outside. Why not? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I I feel you. Uh, I mean, I'm not into it. But you know, that, if he, you know, if he was a straight man, I would say because he's a straight man. But either way, that's not <laughs> that's not important. But I guess so. I actually do have a little bit of an issue, and I've been kind of. I've been vocal from time to time on this because I watched the series when it came out. We've talked about it on here. I don't know if me and you have, though, yet. So I'll revisit that and we can have a conversation. We might disagree a little bit. So Mia's, I played the game, obviously, and um, I uh, did take issue with this because it, in this case, it felt kind of forced. And the reason it felt forced was because in this story, you already have a gay relationship. And the main character, literally, the Ellie girl, she's lesbian and she has a love with a girl and all this um and it's a part of the story so that for me is something that i never have issue with if something's a part of the source material i would never be in support of changing a gay character to a straight character just so people can be comfortable obviously but where i also kind of take issue with just taking changing a character just for the sake of like representation in a case where representation is already taking place and then in this case from a storytelling standpoint where i take issue with it is that you have this relationship that's very important to the main character that you now kind of like overshadow because this relationship takes place first in the series. Um, So people see this, you know, and if it's supposed to be like impactful from like a, like a gay standpoint, like what he's saying, like it's supposed to make, it's supposed to be thought provoking. Then you kind of like jump the shark there with the one, the relationship that you already had that was actually already supposed to happen. That was already super important to the character development of that main character. So I don't know how you feel about that. If that's if it maybe not a non-issue well, or something you would take issue with. In, in the story of the game, yeah. uh, do, do they have any reference to like a partner for him? Is he perceived to be straight or no? No, I mean, so I don't remember if there's a. He's definitely not gay, and I don't know if he references to well, a wife. I don't remember. Definitely not gay. Well, I mean, I'm saying like I, I, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying like not explicitly. I should say like I don't mean yeah, I, I, yeah. so I don't mean like definitely not. I, what my point being is that he definitely doesn't say that he is yeah. type shit. So um, and then also like I said, I can't say for certain that there's any like um, mentioning of like a wife or anything. I just don't remember that dialogue that clearly to say that. Um, so p- potentially it was left ambiguous enough to where you could assume that he um went either way but really my point is just to shoehorn this relationship in anyways this is the only thing so, he does in the story spoiler alert. this way yeah okay oh we definitely spoiler alert yeah so spoiler alert. yeah 
Well, didn't I guess? In didn't. in this story, does the boyfriend have anything to do with the death? Um. Yeah, <laughs> they decide to die together, like Romeo and fucking okay. Juliet. Because so, I'm um, trying to understand, there's a connection yeah. in the story as to why they. they I they, think because to me, it yeah, yeah. This is the third part outside. I don't know yeah. the original story. Okay. It doesn't come off to me as if they took a straight character that was perceived to be straight and made him gay. They just gave a character that didn't have a backstory a backstory. And yeah, and then, you figure, yeah. And then they instead of giving it in the as far as a car ride, it would be better as a TV show to make it a love story and he's dead. I don't know. Again, yeah. I, I don't fucking I'm just trying to make sense to it. No, and I understand. Like, like, I think you're like, making a fair point. I just don't think it I don't necessarily agree that it was necessary, but I understand your point that there's for you know for reasons of the TV show, they decided to give him a backstory, although like I said, they ended up taking away the actions that he actually does in the game in the game. But I mean, not necessarily because he still, they still get the car from him. He's just not there to give him the car. And that's what he does in the story. And then also they end up fighting zombies together and shit and he saves their life. But okay, um, well, that's kind of big thing. Yeah. That we missed, well, though. sort of, sort of, but if you don't have that, I mean, I don't know that it really, really has a huge impact because the guy is not a character. He doesn't stay impacting the story going yeah. forward. So, um, you know, so for that reason, I don't know that it necessarily, but the point being is they don't end up meeting him. He ends up, uh, so his partner ends up getting sick. I think like just regular sick. And that's part of the whole story you see. They basically like grow old together. Like they're able to create such a safe fucking environment that these guys are literally able to like have this little town where they grow up together, right. grow old together. Um, and uh, so the guy ends up getting sick and then they have like this dinner together and, the, and his partner's like basically like, hey, I want to die. Give me this poison. I want to die like peacefully in your arms or some shit like that. Like oh, I want to definitely. It's very romantic. Um, really and that he ends up taking the poison as well. So he gives him the poison. He's like really emotional about it. I don't want to give the poison i love you you know all that kind of shit and then without asking his partner's permission he ends up taking it as well then they have like a moment of like betrayal where he's like how i didn't want you to die now you're gonna die because of me so it's like a selfish decision you made and then like a you know we're gonna let go of the control of the moment yeah, we're just gonna appreciate each other me not to be and we're gonna die together and all this and they end Sweet. up going they end up going and laying down and leaving the main character a note so he leaves a note to this character joel that basically says like hey we end up dying and like right. leave the window open because we're fucking rotting in that bedroom legitimately i'll shoot that yeah but so like, um yeah so with that as far as like pushback to so why they make him gay yeah um i just feel like at this point we should understand that's a 50 50 chance as to if they're straight or gay in a yeah. storytelling yeah like, like like again like we just because we're straight we will tell perceive... fucking american horror story that by the way <laughs> well it's a lot gay <laughs> like uh, it. yeah, yeah I mean, it's like a nine to ten ratio in Jesus. that show well demographic i guess i'm not positive but the fuck, bro i don't like, suck dicks i was there i was there <laughs> but, but 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 it's like to me it's like we're straight so we always want to perceive everything as straight yeah you know and it's like so I, I, when traditionally that is the norm yeah and then if if you're someone who's who like your entire thing is trying to like attack the norm mm -hmm. then it makes sense you know so i don't know like yeah like yeah, I mean, I like I said, I understand one because there there's been other shows where it kind of has seemed like it's more of like a political, like uncovered. And I understand the people feeling like maybe like rightfully so, like that this is a just political cause as yeah. far as like representation and so on and so forth. Um, but like I said, there, there's been times that I felt like, like it was like, over the top, and in this matter? case, this was. Uh, I mean, like, 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 what does okay. it matter? No, I, what does like, it matter, bro? I mean, okay, calm down. Like, 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 no, like, like as far as like, like people just like. Uh, like, like you know, I'm not gonna lie. In high school, I, I, I had the same kind of thought where it's like, man, it seems like every TV show has to have a gay person, and yeah. then, and then it's like I, I had this thought when I was in high school that I don't have an issue with someone being gay. I have friends gay. I mean, one of my smoking partners was was gay. Yeah. Um, but I didn't like the overly flamboyancy. Yeah. And I just thought because it was attention seeking, and then it's like it takes a little maturity, a little understanding, and talking to to be like, oh. This is just your defense mechanism, and this is you finally being able to express yourself. Mm. Maybe it's overboard, but you know it's, like, yeah. it's okay. I'm obnoxious or, yeah. too. Or like, in that case, people are writing, so it's like characters. Yeah, of, and, and, and but but it's like I'm obnoxious with with, with what I love, so it's like fuck yeah. it. So like like 
I get it. So it's like, I, I don't know. I think that it's it's good. I think that the more it's open, the more it's shown, the, yeah. the less of a conversation it should become. <laughs> but for some reason, it never stops. I think in this case, it yeah. it has to do with, and you make a and Your you character make, thing. Is, well, and you make a good point too, though, as far as like, if it's not like explicit, then I guess they have the, the artistic freedom to do whatever they might want with the character. Um, but it wasn't a part of the character story and this is source material that exists. And this is a great, right. this is like game of the year. Like this is a reason this game's getting made so quickly is because, you know, it, it's an extremely popular game. So it's right. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This story is important to people is what yeah. I mean. No, um, no, so it's any, I, I get that. Yeah. So it's anytime like a story gets adapted, you start to talk about like wanting to change Spider-Man or you want to change this character. It's like the, the, like there's companies and all that. There's like some kind of ownership there, but then, the audience also feels like they have some kind of ownership. They have a familiarity with the character or the source material, and they would like they would like it to be faithful to that in some way. And um, you know, this just happens to be one way where maybe they feel like it wasn't. My biggest issue was that there was already that relationship that I think it kind of, this kind of ended up downplaying. It took yeah. a, it took away a lot of what could have been powerful about Ellie's relationship later. Um, and yeah, so I mean that that was kind of that was my biggest issue with it. Um, yeah. As far as the actual execution of it, I think it was you know pretty it was pretty beautifully done. I mean it was it was done really well. Um, I, yeah, I, I feel your dissatisfaction with it, or not dissatisfaction. I guess yeah. that's the wrong word, but like no, I feel you, but... uh, like emotions to yeah. it more than like Lord of the Rings fans, who I am a fucking huge Lord of the Rings fan, and the whole um, Ring of Power, Ring of Power, and having black elves, and they're like okay. this this is a like. A, a white <laughs> elves are Aryan. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's like th that is inaccurate. This takes place in Europe, and I'm like, oh, this shit. is a mythical land. It's a, like it's mythical. Yeah, I didn't watch and, that. And, and, so and if and if you think that. about what Tolkien, Tolkien, if you watch a documentary, and if, <laughs> if if you think about like like what the original story is portrays, it's nine people or seven nine people. I think seven people, but get together. Who are from different walks of life? Who Ring of Powers disagreements. Guys. Tap it on the Ring of Powers love right now. Get together to destroy evil, and so yes, inclu inclusion would fucking happen. Who yeah. cares if there's black elves? No. Like, like it's a fairy. T it's it's mythical. It's fake. Yeah. Like so. so and so, black people are real. Yeah. You know that. It's, it's like come on. So yeah. I, I listen. I. <laughs> I, I I get where there's an uproar when you change characters, but Ariel, that one you think like, is ludicrous. That one's that one's stupid. Yeah, Ariel, I wish I was more familiar to be able to yeah, push like, back because I didn't watch the show. But Little Mermaid, yeah. I, I I can see where it's like, hey, thirty years change the fucking character, whatever. Yeah. But I can see where it's like, no, because because when well, I was a little kid, well, that I don't when have. When I was as... a kid, she looked like this. I was like, well, it's not your Little Mermaid. Yeah, it. that I don't know how much of an issue I have. I would need to know, like, like we talked about, like Spider Man. I don't think that Spider Man has to be white. Like, I'm even talking about Peter Parker, not like Miles Morales. But even if we just had Peter Parker, I don't see anything with his story that it's important for him to be a white person to to make that story still make sense. Bronx. Like, and he loves his fucking aunt and uncle, and then his uncle dies, and he's sad about it. it was like, yeah, it would make perfect. It made perfect sense if he was black. That wouldn't. I would. Yeah. There would be nothing that would be wouldn't make sense with that. Um, and then all, all, on the other side of that, like a character like uh, like Captain America. This is an example I've used before. With uh, if you were to change his character and make him black, it wouldn't make any sense. It would be like it would be whitewashing history to act yeah, like. Yeah, because yeah, where yeah, he, yeah, yeah America was racist as fuck at yeah, the time. Yeah, his so of course we're not going to make twenties or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so it's like to me that's not being faithful to the source right. material. So that's where I start to have an issue. Spider Man demographically would be black or Hispanic if you look at where he. Lives. Well, it wouldn't even matter. He yeah. could be white. There's yeah, white people no, there. It literally like, doesn't. His do whole, my point is the race is inconsequential. Yeah, in his case. Yeah, yes. yeah but like with with. Obviously, with fucking Captain America, it would be extremely consequential his race. Like he'd get up on stage and the motherfuckers would be booing him or some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> it would, uh, yeah. What be, is he doing? Here? Need to, that, needs, that needs to be a skit. That might need to be the first skit Who we work gave on. Black, him a microphone? black Captain America in the fucking 1940s <laughs> World War II. Yeah. Like, we'll try to get we'll get that channel canceled right away. Get shadow banned. Yeah, we love to do that. But, um, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I just say it, it's just I I don't know. Like like people give get too much. They they get too involved with it. And it's like, yeah, it's like just relax that. again. It's all storytelling. Black and yeah. who cares? It's just storytelling. I agree with that, but the only this is the only thing though is because we do have to take into consideration our life is not we can't take it for granted. So some people like if you're a Last of Us fan and this is the fucking your favorite story or whatever, 
you might only get to see one adaption ever. You know what I mean? You might never get another live well, action the adaption. Fucking club. Think about the yeah. Harry Potter, the final scene where, where he breaks the wand and throws yeah. it. No, he doesn't. Okay. That's not what happens. He fixes his wand and then he buries it with Dumbledore. Listen, hey, and that and that blows that that wasn't accurate. If it if it affects the story for you, that 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 sucks. So I mean, Dang. no, I think I think that's valid though. I, if a Harry Potter fan was complaining about that, I would say yeah. Jack Reed valid. Is six, seven. Tom Cruise is five five. Yeah, they went okay. and got they went and got Thad. Uh, I think that's the um, Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. But so they no, made that right. I, they made I, that right. Well, see, yeah. but that's an example where thankfully, hopefully, if you're a huge Jack Reacher fan in your lifetime, you got to see them kind of correct that and make a great Jack Reacher show. No, which no, I mean, I like the TV. Now listen, I, I if, like if they the want to make Abraham Lincoln in a movie with listen, nobody got mad when Abraham Lincoln was killing vampires. Okay. Like everyone yeah. understood it was a fake fucking story. Nobody was like, I, I, actually, yeah. actually, Abraham yeah. Lincoln didn't do that. Mm. Okay. So it's like, we, we can't. I don't know I, if this I is a, I don't know if this is an equal comparison you're making those. I'm, I'm saying. saying because we, now we can bend the rules of reality. We can bend the yeah. rules of fucking characters. Now get where like in your, I, I mean, in, like in your show or book or story, like, like you wanted to stay accurate. And I agree. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I agree with your thing with like last of us. But if, especially if they would have made him like, I, like I get it. Where like, if like the story is of a straight character, yeah. and, and then they take that character who had a wife, yeah, and they're like, all right, it's more ambiguous that than that. They, yeah. Then it's like, whoa, like, like yeah, like you're pushing something that, you're yeah, saying. yeah. But um, but it's uh, as far as like the little tiny things that really are are minimal at, at most. Well, and I guess you could you could make an argument that but this it's a good conversation. Well, it is a good conversation, and uh, you could make an argument that this didn't. Like what we were talking about with Spider-Man, we're like, okay, that doesn't affect the story, so it's okay. So maybe you can make an argument that this doesn't affect the story, so it's okay. But then they went ahead and they decided to actually have him fucking commit suicide. Yeah. <laughs>